Welcome back to Overtime here on WOTM. Mark, we let, ended off with the NFL news with Tua going into season number two. However, there's a guy who's going in, who was probably going to try to go into season number 25, called it a career. Adam Vinatieri, after 24 seasons, calls it a career. And obviously, uh, we know him for the, the kicks that helped kind of kick off the, the Super Bowl run for the New England Patriots, but he carved out an amazing career overall. To give you a, uh, an idea of how long his career was, I was still in college. Wow. When he was, uh, when he was a rookie. Right. I mean, we're talking back in the Stone Age. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that was before we broke away from the British. <laughs> um, anyway, the thing that gets me about Benetieri is everyone knows him for his Super Bowl winning kicks in Super Bowl 36 mm -hmm. and 38, all right? But to me, there were a couple things that he did that really did stand out. Uh, he has, is the only player in the NFL playoff history to have two games of five field goals. Right. Uh, one of them came in, to me, one of the best efforts by a kicker was a, in a 2006 game against the Baltimore Ravens uh, and Ray Lewis that was quarterbacked by Steve McNair the one year. Mm -hmm. The Ravens went 13-3. and three. Their defense was absolutely dominated. Uh, they led the league in points allowed. They led the league in fewest first downs. They led the league in fewest yards by a wide margin. And... Peyton Manning and Adam Vinatieri went in there, and they won 15 to six. Vinatieri had all 15 points. That's only been done two other times in NFL history. One yeah. by Matt Barr in the 1990 NFC Championship game that they ended the Niners three-peat, mm -hmm. wound up going to the Super Bowl. And the other uh, was done by uh, Chris Boswell back in 2016 when the Steelers beat the Chiefs, and he made six field goals in an 18-16 victory. So I, I remember Steve Young at, at when I was at ESPN still can't believe that they lost that game on five field goals. Right. So that's an accomplishment. Uh, and the other interesting thing about Vinatieri's postseason career, he attempted 71 extra points. He made his first 70, huh. and he missed his last <laughs> one oh, wow. in yeah. his last playoff game uh -huh. against uh, the, the Colts against the Chiefs in 2000, uh, 2018 postseason. How do you like that? You make 70 in a row, and then you flub your last one. It's, it's interesting, you, you know, you have kind of the, the John Elway send-off, uh, kind of perfect ending, and then <laughs> yeah, for him, it's, yeah, it's yeah. kind of the complete opposite. It's like, hey, he, he made a career out of, you know, kind of being this game-breaker, mm -hmm. and then ends off uh, missing his last one. He was part of 242 regular season wins. He also broke career records for field goal attempts with 715. He also kicked in 47 different stadiums. I find that wow. interesting, how many different stadiums were built. I was only talking wow. 32 NFL teams. And he also played in six AFC Championship games, exactly. five yeah. Super Bowls, and then obviously, obviously I think one of his best kicks yep, is the one it. right there. That's the best one. The, 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 the tuck roll game and all the different elements that they had to go into, and that basically started what we kind of knew a little bit later as the Patriots dynasty that ran on for about two decades. He also had his record of 30, 397 games, including the playoffs, in which he played, including those five Super Bowls. We're talking about points scored. One of the things that we'll look up here, there's only a few kickers – in the NFL Hall of Fame, and we expect that he'll be the next. Yeah, I think here, Moore, uh, Morton Anderson, uh, Jan Senner, who's not on this list, uh, was a, a kicker back who kind of like invented kicking back in his 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, Gary Anderson, best known for the field goal he missed in a season he was perfect right. uh, to, to lose the NFC Championship game. Uh, Jason Anson kicked for the Tigers, his, uh, Tigers the Lions, mm -hmm. his whole career, and John Carney is known for some other things, uh, even though he was a pretty good field goal kicker. Uh, I, I think Vinatieri and Morton Anderson, those are two guys that to me are legends. Morton Anderson, he could kick the ball to the moon. Yeah. I mean, he, i never seen a guy kick the ball as far as he did. Um, maybe Janikowski when he first came into the league, uh, but Morton Anderson was great. Um, and uh, Vinatieri, just what he represented overall, we talked about early in his career, how Bill Postel's talked about cutting him after he, he struggled through a little stretch there. Right. Uh, and the game that he wound up uh, uh, proving himself to Parcells was in a 31 to nothing victory. Mm -hmm. um, and that was, you know, Parcells a tough guy. He doesn't have many room for, uh, much room for kickers, especially rookie kickers. I remember John Hall with the 97 Jets. Uh, one time he kicked a game winner and Pip Parcells said after the game, you can take the huggies off now. You just <laughs> kicked the game winner. So he wasn't very patient with kickers back then. We'll see if he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. I'm not sure. It, yeah, it took, I don't know it kickers took, ever do, yeah. It, yeah, it, it took a while for, for some of these other kickers to get into the Hall of Fame, but we expect them to have a gold jacket in Canton pretty soon. Coming up next here on Overtime, we will close it out with, uh, how about this, some golfers and pro football players, quarterbacks getting back together on the match. And we'll talk about who's coming up next, a little bit of trash talk and betting involved as well. We'll talk about it next.